Hi, my name is Dennis Legg. I'm with Golf Warehouse Atlanta. I'm here today to talk to you about uh, a specific club fitting uh, concept called lie angle. Lie angle happens to be the most important thing to consider when it comes to getting fit for your golf clubs. Uh, I'm going to attempt to explain to you what lie angle is today and we're going to talk to you about why it's important and we're going to go through a lie angle fitting exercise. So just hang in there with me. It's a really, really important concept. Every golf club has a relationship between the shaft and the bottom of the golf club, the sole of the golf club. This relationship is called lie angle. So depending on how you sole your club, the shaft of the club in relationship to the ground forms an angle. That's called the lie angle. A typical five iron has a 62 degree lie angle. Kind of the point of the exercise is that when your club comes through at impact, you want the sole of the club to be perfectly perpendicular with the ground. If it's not, there's going to be some problems created. I'm going to illustrate what those problems are in just a second. So, in other words, if, if your club comes through at impact with the toe down like that, we need your toe to be more up. So your club would be too flat, you would need a more upright lie. Conversely, if your club comes through uh, with, with the heel dragging the ground and the toes up off the ground, we would need to bend your toe down. So your club would be too upright, we would be bending your lie angle flatter. So uh, uh, now that I've defined what lie angle is, let's uh, really try to nail home why it's so important. Here I've got uh, just a normal uh, pitching wedge and I've got a magnet attached to the pitching wedge that has a rod extending out. Uh, it's a kind of a neat device because it shows you where the uh, angle of the club is pointing. If I set up in a normal address position with this pitching wedge and try to square it up to the target, you'll see that my club face is aimed at the target. At impact, if the toe of your club is digging into the ground first and the heel of your club is up off the ground, in other words, your lying was too flat, the face is actually pointed considerably right of the target. Okay? If the face is pointed right of the target, where do you think the ball is going to start? It's going to start right of the target. It's probably going to stay there. Conversely, at impact, if your club comes through heel first uh, or toe is up off the ground too much, i.e. your line was too upright, the face is pointed left of the target. It's going to cause a, an overdraw or a hook or a pull. Okay? Now, to put that in numbers perspective, uh, I happen to know that uh, for every for every degree that your line goes off, it's going to cause a missed shot by approximately four yards in either direction. In other words, if my line was four degrees off, four times four is 16 yards. So that's a missed green, folks. Lie angle is super, super important. Uh, now I'm going to go through an exercise of actually fitting for lie angle to show you uh, kind of how it's done. So we're going to start by just taking a regular Mizuno 6 iron, put a piece of tape on it, and this is a lie board. It's just a, a solid piece of rubber. It's black. It's painted black. Uh, when I hit a ball off it, it's actually, actually going to put a, uh, a pretty black mark on the bottom of the club. That's going to give me an indication of where my the sole of the club is uh, contacting the ground. So I'm just going to try to take a, a normal golf swing, make sure I hit down on it. Struck that pretty well. But you can see, if you look real close, that black mark is considerably towards the toe of the club. Okay? So that mark is indicating that my club's coming through toe down. Okay? If I were square like that, that mark would be right in the center of the club, but it's not. It's towards the toe. That's a bad line, well, folks. That's probably, that's probably four or five degrees off. I happen to know that I play about five degrees upright. It fluctuates a little bit as my swing changes. But what I've found throughout the years is everybody kind of has a natural swing. Uh, you always sort of settle back to that natural swing. That line doesn't change much. I've always been a very upright uh, playing golfer. So if you were to let me hit this club outside, this thing would go right almost every time. Now what would happen if I, if I 
bought this set off the rack and I went and played with it and I saw that ball starting off to the right, what do you think I would do? I wouldn't keep watching it right. I'd make an adjustment, wouldn't I? I'd set up more closed. I'd try to flip my wrists over more. What would happen is I would, I would wind up compensating uh, for a wrong lie angle with a wrong golf swing. That's really, really bad. So now let's show you how we would make the adjustment for this lie angle being wrong. This is a lie angle loft and lie machine. This is what we use to actually adjust lie angles. Okay. This will be kind of neat. Most of you have never seen this done before. We're actually going to adjust the lie angle on this golf club. First we clamp the face in securely. We're actually going to measure this six iron, see what it is. I have no idea what it is. I assumed it was close to standard. That's a 62 degree six iron. I believe a Mizuno six iron is around 61 or 61 and a half, a normal lie angle for a six iron. We know though already that this toe has to go up or the shaft has to go up, whichever way you want to look at it. So let's make an adjustment. I'm going to go about five degrees upright, so we're at 62. I'm going to bend it up all the way to about 67 degrees. Now you saw my golf swing. I've got a pretty good golf swing. It's not pro quality, but I'm a six handicap. It's a pretty good golf swing, and I play five degrees upright. I mean, there's probably some guys out there who measure seven, eight, nine degrees upright. There's guys that measure two, three degrees flat. I guarantee you, if I fit a hundred golfers, we're going to see we're going to see as much as five or six degrees upright. All right. We're going to see some standards, and then we're going to see some guys that are flat by two, three, four degrees. So realistically, you're going to see uh, that angle vary between three degrees flat and five degrees upright. That's nine different lie angles. Okay. So the chances of you of your lie angle being wrong, all right, is eight out of nine. That's almost ninety percent. You almost don't have a shot of having the correct lie angle if you've never been fitted for it before. It's really important. So let's go ahead and take this up. See how much I'm bending that. All right, there's our new lie angle. That's about 67, a little over 67 degrees roughly. So I got a feeling that that's going to be pretty good. Let's go check it out. So let me step back into the shot, try to make a normal comfortable swing. Well, that just felt better. I could, I could feel the club going through the turf better. It didn't get hung up like it did before. It felt effortless. It felt smooth. Look at the, uh, look at the mark I got, the result. Nice, right in the middle of the club, real close to the center of the golf club. Uh, that's exactly what we're looking for. There's an indication that that club's coming through perfectly square to the ground. All right, that's exactly what we want. Again, I play about a five degree upright lie angle. Um, most guys I fit for play an upright lie, two, three, four degrees. That's all common. Uh, most of you people out there probably miss the ball to the right, which is in line with what I typically see. Most guys lie angle too flat. Those guys need to get that toe up off the ground. You're just going to be making a compensating swing if you don't get it taken care of. So I urge you to, uh, to come take a look at your lie angle today. Don't go through another golf season not knowing if your lie angle was correct or not. It's ridiculous. It's the, it's the least expensive, uh, easiest, quickest thing you can do to improve your golf game. Our phone number is 770-435. 1934. You'll need an appointment to do this. It takes us about 30 minutes, maybe 45 minutes at the most. Uh, uh, it's a pretty, pretty painless process. Uh, we're experts in it. We've been doing it for many, many years, so we know exactly how to guide you. Again, the number is 770-435-1934. Call us today. Make an appointment. Do it.